What up everybody on this foggy night? I think it provides a pretty cool effect. So, I was in a cold uh, hotel room and then came outside to the hot humidity of wonderful Pattaya. So, we're day two in Pattaya. Didn't do much last night. We did a five hour stream. I'm gonna do another one here in a half hour. And then uh, my buddy Hump showed me some places. Very interesting. I definitely like Pattaya. It gives me like a very strong Vung Tao. Vung Tao slash Da Nang vibe. With then like more party sprinkled in. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten one thing today. So uh, let's, this is just going to be the 4K walk. We're gathering thoughts for the, for the, uh, all the versus videos and I think Thailand's gonna win quite a bit of the categories for a lot of like stuff but then we're gonna do like a special point system for things you can't get one place or the other I think it's gonna be close okay Google lady we turn left so far I feel really safe here it's very much the same as Vietnam in very many aspects and this lens should be clearing up by now it put uh, uh, hold on. Let's get that cleaned up. Vietnam that comes clear in like a minute. I think it's too much condensation. Trying to still figure out the, the nighttime. Daddy's got to get a new gimbal, unfortunately. Or we're gonna try repair. Okay, let's check. Let's go. We got the lens wiped off. I am having a fun time in Thailand. I think the food's really good here. There's lots of Western choices. Pattaya seems super laid back and chill. <coughs> I actually met a bunch of uh, subscribers last night after the stream. I actually might do a meetup in Bangkok. Like so many people. So all the people that are in Bangkok and then the people that have hit me up in Pattaya, I'll send you all on the different ways you contacted me. I think we're going to do just one meetup in Bangkok. So like if you're in Pattaya and you want to come up, you got to go up to Bangkok anyway. This might be perfect for you. But a lot of dudes have reached out to me, so, yeah. I'm so hungry. I could eat. Turn right. I could eat. We had Hooters last night, and then I had McDonald's at some point, apparently, because McDonald's was in my hotel room. There was a McFish still, and I had ate a triple cheeseburger and a fry. Oh yeah. All right, I think we gotta take a right. Now we're on the busy street right away. Hustle and bustle, baby. Now we just walk all the way down to the beach. Could get something to drink. Do they have the energy? Let's see if they have that energy. Uh, the energy Red Bull. Oh, it's not even energy. It's like energy vodka. But it's a pretty good energy drink. Yeah, weed drinks. Fruit juice with cannabis water sounds disgusting. Weed tastes like shit as it is. Oh, they have it. They have it. So this thing's like an energy drink with the world's shittiest vodka in it. But it does a good job at like energy drink. Thanks, man.
Everyone's been super polite. Thai people are like way po polite. I'll tell you a story here in a second. like those in Vietnam and usually they're saying a bunch of shit but like it don't make no sense I'm curious it sounded like he knew Thai looked like that guy lived here for a while I want to give him the benefit of the doubt that's why we recorded it time to get some energy drink in me you know no it's so difficult to explain how Thailand is like how how the tie is, but like, it's odd. I'll walk in sections and be like, am I in Venice? Like Venice Beach? In California? It's got like, the weed stops of like, the weeds, all the weed shops everywhere have added this like LA vibe. Like you wouldn't know if, unless you know, but like, you'd have gone to LA during the boom of medical marijuana and like, there was one of these cannabis things like, every five feet in Venice too. Well, and in all of LA. The lovely durian smell. Let's get some energy in there. Oh, yeah. Big style restaurant. Almost like a hawker. Yeah. Hawkers are really popular here. Really, really popular. Yeah, it's a hawker. A lot of Indian restaurants, but it makes sense. Indians are not, from what I've seen in Vietnam, they're not extremely experimental with cuisine outside of their own because there's theirs is so explosive with like different flavors. But all the Indian shops. And you, no, restaurants are doing really well inside now. Uh, every girl has contacts on. We'll talk about that in the verse girl. Vietnam verse Thai. Girls, women. It's wild. They all wear like contacts here. And they all get like nose jobs. Not all. I don't want to sound like that guy. There's a lot of things going on here to enhance yourself. Even more so than, uh, than Korea, which I thought Korea was like the leader in that. Oh yeah. Dragon food. A lot of the same vegetables. Overlap here. I think we trade with each other.
about 25 minutes off the beach. But I don't need to be on the beach. I want to see, like, where are there other bars and shit? What is this place? Me, we never go to a weed shop like that. That shit gonna cost you like 20% extra to pay for all that stupid shit they got in there. Just think of how that shit gets paid for. All that stupid shit they got in there, special shelves and all the. Shit ain't cheap. Yeah, I can't feel like. I can't put my hand on what it feels like, but it's different than everything. I do like Pattaya, I think more than Bangkok, so far, which I didn't think I would be saying. Things I really don't like about Bangkok is how spread out it is. It's 20 minutes to go anywhere. I don't care, you can't convince me otherwise. It's 20 minutes no matter where you're going, any means of transportation. Like, there is just a lack of super highly efficient uh, travel across the city. And mainly motorbikes because cars are cars own that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't want your TV. Keep your TV. Keep your TV. There's so many weed shops. I slept today. I got my first like big day of recovery, which was really nice. They're not building a lot though. I thought I would see more like, I haven't gotten a look at the water yet. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Do one more day here tomorrow and then leave the next day. But we got an Evo 10, like a real Evo 10. It's looking real so far. Oh. No, it's missing some stuff in the back. Oh, this ain't looking right. Are there Prembos up front? He's got the Prembos up front. I don't know, this looks like a conversion. This could be a... a the front mount swapped out for sure. He's got the two horns in the right location. It's a good looking Evo. I don't think it's an original Evo though. Because the rear fenders weren't rolled. Could be though. Maybe they made models without the options. I don't know. I would enjoy this more than Vung Tao if I'm an old guy. And I'm not hating on old guys. I'm going to be old in like 10 years. I'm already am old. So I mean, I'm not hating. I'm just saying what this looks like to me is a little bit more fun and a little bit more money to be made. We got Bitcoin lead up here. I've looked at so much cannabis here, it's insane. There is good cannabis. It is hard to find. We will talk about it. There's gonna be a whole guide. I'm gonna break down a guide. Not a place to go, because you're, you're gonna have to do potentially like what I would have been doing. I was just looking to look. But like you would wanna go and just keep looking. Like they play a lot of old moves that they played in LA. I'll talk about it all in the video. Six cylinders Toyota. Doesn't look like a, looks like a Jeep. Who's he got a 2JZ in there? That'd be a pretty dope swap. I know they like a 2JZ here. I haven't seen much of the race car scene. Like it looked more aggressive on uh, CB Media's channel. Probably just haven't linked up with the right people. Need to spend more time here than two weeks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, this, is, this, is, this is heavy Vungtao vibes. Lots of older dudes.
Those lounges are everywhere. The lounge is a good idea. I watched a lot of people use it on where we were yesterday. In the live stream. There are people going in there for like five hours and just getting faded and like sleeping on the couch. Masai Beach Hotel and Resort. Looks old. But it's right by the beach, so it's probably expensive. Let me know how much that costs in the comment section. What the fuck is this? Anon's beer bar. Oh. Oh, let's like go try to walk down here. This looks more of like what my team wants me to be filming on the live stream. are lady bars. I don't know what to do. Let me uh, try to assess from further away before we get killed, before we like that. It's definitely a local. I think he said some nice words of encouragement to me. I don't know. You never find a trash here. It's like fucking Korea. Ah, uh, this is like all lady bars. Holy shit. Where did I stumble upon? I don't even know if we can go in here. I mean, I can try. I don't know where the fuck we're at, dude. This does not look like an area where I should walk around with a camera, though. Um, I just want to kind of like look left and right and see what this is. I'll put the address for where this is, but I'm not gonna walk around here because it's all ladies, and I already know this kind of situation. Not the best idea to try to film it, but. It's pretty wild. All right, I'll be back. All right, we got a little bit of tag. My head had to walk, huh? Another thing that's crazy is the malls are next level here. We talked about a couple other videos. They've got 4D, 5D, 12D, 19D. Screen up your ass, screen behind your ass. Screen on the left of you, screen to the right of you. Uh, a bed, lay down couch. Whatever kind of movie experience you're looking for, they've got it. And they sell ribs, like, American style. I love these guys with these tie tricks. Secure the bag, though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sidewalks are not that much better. Very similar. What is this guy? Just grab a rat. Look like a rat. Let's get something to drink. I'll plug in my vape. A lot of fucking people here. Oh, they're pre gaming too. It's the best way to save your money. Oh, my. oh this is ice. Considerable on. Excuse me. 
bro. Oh. Weird rules on liquor are extremely odd too. Really, it, you can. I don't even know. It's just a weird uh, idea to go about with booze. Go for another energy drink here. Boom, 35. Let's go. It's in the fur. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, that took a long time. Inefficient line system. So the cutting has its effects in Vietnam. I'd much rather do the cutting. Well, if everybody would just been like on the... A lot of things in Vietnam make sense after a while. It's kind of opposite here. Like, the, the dudes are going for older chicks. Like I've been seeing it and been like, nah, maybe I'm just tripping. And then like, I've seen the 100 pretty decent looking dude with like a 20 year old senior. <laughs> Like Thai chick with tattoos from head to toe. And big old titties. It's wild. It's wild out here. I can definitely see like if you're a party dude, you could like this way more than uh, Vietnam. They all want to make money, like it's so money focus centric with the uh, bar stuff here. smell the weed. Ooh, Vietnam, two to one Malaysia. Let's go, baby. Six month, Fu Kwok's eyeing six month visa waiver. Wow. If Fu Kwok does that, that place will become a harbor for backpackers and uh, content creators and live streamers. Instantaneously, that'll become like wow, six months without having to worry about shit. That's an excellent idea. I don't know, I just hear Vietnamese and it's not Vietnamese, so. Working girls everywhere. Every girl here, oh, not every, but a lot of girls are. Uh, You can take these things. My buddy was telling me about it. Ten cents. I think we took one last night. I can't remember. I don't know. I think it was ten baht to go like however far you need to go down the block on one of those trucks. That stuff's not explained to somebody that's visiting, so like... Yeah. Now that it's so much better, now that it's not during the day. I'd like to see like some rain. Just like... Trying to talk up like uh, Muay Thai stuff because that's real popular. What? Thai, European food, and pizza, and steak. You can't beat that combination, people. Where are you going to get all that in one combo? Seven hundred and ninety-nine baht a night. I think for the beach, that's not bad. I venture to say. Nope, gave me a look. 
She gave me them hungry eyes. More shopping malls. Cannot not have a shopping mall every 100 feet in Thailand. It'd be a sin against man. It is nice that there's not so much loud music. Five star bar and beer. The Rodian shrimps. Old guy with tatted Thai girl. Kind of seeing how the Thai girls work. They do the lady bar, maybe bar, and or more type deal. As they start slipping into 35 to 40, they start to look for a sugar daddy, mainly just one. So they don't have to play the game anymore and can just satisfy that one guy and get stuff paid for. And there's plenty of guys coming here that's like 45, 40 to 65, 70, looking for that exact identical thing. So I guess it works. What we got over here? Nice workout shorts. Fighting. Shit ton of guys like that here too. That's just a few. Of them. Weed, 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 weed. Sweet, sweet kitchen. What a play on words. What a play on words. I'm split on who knows more English. I think it's the same, same. I think it's easier with Vietnam though. Grasshopper Collective, get high. Let's go, baby. Happy hour, buy two, get one free. We'll only charge you 300 baht for a gram. Oh, for breakfast. 600 baht for a gram. With a bunch of shit. Cooking and cream, the only thing on there that's like, Okay. There are just girls everywhere. They're like, anywhere you look, there's a group of girls. It's crazy. Should have bought my fan. I should have bought my fan. There's a Mexicana cantina up here. Happy hour, bidna fucker and da, dunda, duma, motherfucker. There's a no weed zone. They don't like weed. Happy hour is only from one to five. Well, they do. People do try to drink here early for shizzle. Some pants, sir? Some pants. I haven't worn pants in 20 years. Nothing like that, though. This one's not bad. The Tornado. I don't know if that's the real one. It doesn't look like the real one. How much? 900? Sorry. Expensive. Don't know if I could quite do a 900 baht. That's like 35 bucks.
This lemon one's been going for like four days now. So it's pretty good. Oh, here's the Hooters from yesterday. Pretty good. Right, we kind of walked from not the, where the bars are to where all the bars are. We'll simultaneously look around. I love it. Ancient fire oven hops. That looks all right. I do believe this is the McDonald's I consumed last night. On my way home on a grab. They all have the same shit. The same old shitty vape. Just the one lady the other night, yesterday on stream. I should have bought the real one from her. The first person that had the real vape anywhere in Thailand. Same, same. They're all the same, same. So they're all buying from the same vendor guy that probably comes down here. All right, guys, that's the video. I thank you so much for watching. This is just a little bit of what's Pattaya area looks like. It's very much a mix of Vung Tao, Da Nang, and even slightly Nguyen Chang for me. Uh, I like it, but yeah, we're going to keep exploring. So smash that like button, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you want to meet me and have a conversation with me, sign up for the Patreon. I have not been active on the messaging on Patreon over the past week because I have so much I'm doing, but I will catch up to everything tomorrow. All right, guys, peace out.